Though, I gotta say, British Smash, because of their macro, they are equalizing the gold. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It seems like the fights are going for the Fire Flux Esport, but the macro game is on the side on Burn X Flash, and the uh, yeah. Bruno is so big factor. He have already almost 5k gold, which is like 1,000 more from the enemy gold laner, and now you really want to use it like you want to use it you want to create the uh, tower falls and the uh, map control and i like the mana boot as well on the uh, bruno actually yeah but uh, even when it comes to the gold and it comes to kills fire flux sports have their own advantage bottom lane it's a little bit of pressure put out by burning slash but with four members of fire flux there will not be any happenings around could be a little bit in the mid lane as the cloud will just go for a double lane setup yeah the he, catch, he, he need to recover his farm like yeah. a lot because and the top lane is being pushed by the arlet minions are already dying under the turret and cloud uh, taking like super safe rotation but oh. mine on fury with the flicker <laughs> gonna focus down oh this bruno goodness. and the vexana's ultimate actually hitting two people the mini lord is spawned getting aggroed by the x -Borg and just retreated yeah, turtle fight still ensues for Fire Flux. I'm your ATM onto the back lines. No more Mino and Fury, but they did take out Owl. And Alien is uh, taking a lot of damage. Fighter Slash not gonna connect onto anyone. They're actually chunking down this Fredrin low, but the Fredrin still gets it. Rindo takes the turtle and then runs Ooh. away to safety. Um, nice Fire Flux Esports. Like yeah, all the team just well stabbed his ultimate. <laughs> Yeah. And meanwhile, Cloud <laughs> is taking top top turret. That's exactly what he wanted to. It's like four minions yeah. on top, double ballista and the tower, and he goes jungle. And he really, really need to recover his farm while his yeah. team is going to kind of stop Bruno for this uh, from this snowball. And that's exactly what is happening here. Yeah. A little bit of uh, an exchange there from both teams. And we're looking at the gold laners. Sunshine is catching up a little bit, but he still is a thousand gold behind the Bruno. Be a little bit of a pause for now, and um, I, I do like uh, I like what I'm seeing from both teams. In fact, because you're seeing Fire Flux play well when it comes to their initiations, their micro gameplay, but when it comes to the overall macro, the objective, the taking potential, definitely gonna be siding towards um burn next flash so that's a that's the difference in playstyle between the two teams that we have right now or barbie yeah and it's that's kind of unexpected to see because uh, fire flux has the cloud which has the upper hand in terms of uh, rotation like and uh, maneuvering around the map and farming and he's the one who should like kind of split push like we saw on the top lane but uh, he needed to do it kind of a little bit earlier so he wouldn't have this kind of uh, gold disadvantage uh, from the Bruno. But on the other hand, they have the Exborg, which farmed al already like two items. And uh, his uh, thing now, <laughs> he and, like <laughs> underestimated the uh, burn, underestimated Exborg on the bot lane, tried to kill him. And he like he wanted to like retreat using his intensity, but he's like. Wow, I'm actually doing damage. So he's like returned and uh, exploded yeah. on two people, and eventually yeah. uh, they are dead. So Exborg here is going to be a factor because, like, third item yeah. he might go for either immortality of the or. or and the, the timing is just all so crucial, and that's what you have to watch out for in this matchup. We are going to be returning into the game. 
slowly and surely we're gonna find out what is the what are the next steps for both teams seems like uh, the power of this uh Vexana is that you can poke, but when it comes to commit, in comes Tienzi. Ooh. He takes a one, actually Rosa to get the last hit. But that means That's that they will be damage. able to cover here. That's a lot of damage indeed. Yeah, Ruby cannot tank. And slowly it seems like, oh, Nas Phantom Slash are gonna proc down Firaga Armor and uh, try to actually hit him after the roll, but uh, he used the flicker yeah. to uh, safety. Yeah. That is uh, Immortality, if I'm not mistaken, from Alien, 1-0-4. Oh, and and mm -hmm. um, you have to really look out for these final slashes. So far, I'm your ATM mm -hmm. has been uh, a little bit 50-50 when it comes to connecting, but when he hits, it's uh, always very impactful. Yeah, and it seems like uh, one and a half or two more minutes and burn are gonna have a lot of problems because Nana gonna burst them down. Three melee heroes can be countered by the Manon's Rage and the Axeborg. Yeah. So, I don't know, looks kind of bad for me. For Burn. Yeah. We'll see. Apex 47, now gonna land the three by Minon Fury and it goes to damage from Alien. They're not committing the ultimate just yet. But that is gonna be one out. I'm your ATM is out. Yenzi wants to go for Rindo. But well, that means that Burning Smash will just retreat the healing as well as the initiations coming up from Apex 47 becoming on point. Lord Dan still ensues and Fireflux may have controlled this first Lord. That's very nice from Tienzi to not go for the Rindo here to try to finish him off just uh, like we discussed the rhythm control just went for the safe lord and now attack on ruby gonna dodge the i'm offended with the second skill as well and uh, with a mortal coil and just go for the jungle kill and set up the lord pressure yeah well done from fireflux esports burnix flash yet to get a kill and we did say that there will be a little bit of a problem for burnix flash to find the kills because of the sustain Oh, Fireflux. Mm -hmm. Maybe when yeah. Owl is online, that's when they can find their openings. For now, Burnix Flash, all they can do is to defend. Yeah, and they are doing it quite well using Vixana's ultimate, though, on the mid lane, but still securing the defense. The Arlot on top is being bursted Ooh. down by the Martis and the uh, Blazing Duet of Claude and the bottom lane tower as well. Lord is working on the minions trying to go for, I mean, he obviously gonna go for the <laughs> tier 3 turret after that, but will his team follow him? Oh, well, find out. This is a push. The Lord is still available. Owl is there. In comes the hook, but that's Apex 47. A tanky Minotaur. Oh, last insanity from Alien. Just nah, that's kind of kind of late because I mean you should use it a little bit earlier to not let yeah. him burn death the Lord and potentially go for the turret. But now you have the second wave of Mega Minions, but the Fireflex actually decided to kind of retreat, even though they have Manon Raids, they have Flicker on the Minotaur. In my opinion, yeah. they should try to win for mid and for bot again, but. Wherever they decided to go uh, safely and farm a little bit, uh, that's understandable. I, I wouldn't say that's a mistake because they have such a great advantage in terms of draft here, so they yeah. don't need to uh, rush things. Yeah, can just relax for now. So. Yeah, relax, relax. relax. But <laughs> uh, <laughs> now we're looking at. Um, eventually the damage out them from Alien. I mean, Alien has been very active in this map and we didn't even notice that he's actually well farmed now. He's 7.9k compared to 6.1k of I'm your ATM. Just like that, you know? And you would look like, it would look like Alien is just, you know, um, always getting taken out or the Firago armor always being bought by Burnix Flash, but because he's always in the fight, He's already up with three items, and that's very important for the Fireflux Esports. Yeah, I'm just now thinking for the Vixana pick, it's kind of... 
I don't know, they not doing much here. It seems like yeah. the Lunox maybe wouldn't been better because they kind of need this uh, front lane damage to be able to compete in terms of this grinder. I'm offended, oh. plus the flicker and the Vixana follows with oh the, her own ultimate, but the counter attack by the Manon on Strange oh. and the Mark is going rampage with his own ultimate and the oh, last the insanity follows two people blazing oh. to end on, on all of them and the four people are down and Fredrin on only one who left standing here uses his jump under the turret, but turret's gonna fall probably by the back door here, and the mid lane is gonna fall, and it might be a wow. GG here. It might be GG. Burning Splash. They don't have any heroes to defend this. Rosa even commits the flicker for this one. They're zoning out Rindo. The defense will not be Ooh. enough. Wow, Fireflux. When you said that they should that they are acting more than they're thinking this time i think they're thinking out of gold advantage now for fireflux in the early stages and i wish i knew the answer to that question is should they be playing this in a different pace but unfortunately burnix flash will have to suffer this okay they want to go for amir atm commits the flaker for now the turtle coming up soon that's 20 seconds rindo finds the NZ. And that is actually Retribution coming out from uh, Rindo. And all of a sudden, Owl is here. They want to push. It's not going to be enough. For now, though, Daytona's Welcome connects on to Apex 47. Very tacky at this point, but eventually goes down. Not much hmm. at the expense of Burn X Flash. Yeah, this finally turtle might be, might come for burn here, Sir Turtle, but I'm kind of surprised. Last Insanity was used just to run away, but still decided, just like last game, went aggressively on uh, exploding on three people, but resulting almost nothing. Oh Nolan God. goes in just to finish off Rafaela yet again, low HP, Barats, 1k HP going into the base, using his retribution just to slow down and good, dragging Nana into the turret range with forced <laughs> Both passive and the flicker, which is good from one side, but meanwhile, turtle being farmed as well. You see that the timing, like uh, after the retribution, the turtle Rosa had the extra shields, and look Ooh. at that snag kill. VJ out, not even able to use the skill. That's insanity onto the left side, while demonic force onto the right side. That's gonna be Fireflux Esports claiming one kill onto Kel VJ as well as the turtle. So, oh, well, there's a bonus yeah, kill, no flicker for Agway team. Snowball seemed like he snowballed out of control. Tinzi using Nolan is insanely aggressive. And the turtle's welcome here on the Ruby, followed by the Rafaela's uh, baptism, but not resulted anything. Claude damage is uh, yeah. just enough. Sorry, a Ruby oh. uh, counter attack. But. That's insanity use, that burst coming up from TNZ. They will be able to catch uh, Alien. No, the flicker to the left side. And that means that Fireflux will get away with murder. Rindo out, they take the turret as well. And they're staying in here. Well, uh, Astro's eye just uh, fending off Fireflux, but that is a lot of advantage that Fireflux Esports are able to get. Yeah, the Fireflux is doing, like, uh, uh, like, showing the burn, like, how they should treat the objective uh, on the last game. Like, like should they should go much more aggressively, and that's exactly what Fireflux is doing. They just jump with Last Insanity right under two, just to zone out the enemies and let your team farm the objective. That's exactly what you should do. I, I just had a question on the mid lane. Why Vixana used her ultimate just try and push the mid lane this is like i'm not sure you should do that uh, in this kind of matchups when you have a lot of enemies around you you kind of want to use it for more like damage on the enemies and trying to win it yeah. instead of just summoning uh, uh yeah po po point 0.5 of version of the lord Oh, look at that. They want to go in. They're actually forcing Burning Smash to retreat, but it comes in as well. But that's just a bait. They will take out Rindo as well as the Rafael. Now, Apex 47 will try to run away. That's just the Rupee. And look at the defense. Blading do it. It's going to be popped. Apex 47 down. Sunshine is low, but it's safe for now. Owl now compromised to the back lines. They might go to the last Ooh, Saturday, no round two. The burst is there. Kill VJ, the one in the one left, trap. but not for long. That's a wipeout. Fireflux yeah. wipes the floor with burning smashes.
Yeah, I mean, like, you know, this pos when you are in this position as a Barats, when you ult, you become a stationary target and you get immediately bursted down, you know you're in a bad spot. Like, you all ult into the ruby under the second turret and being just obliterated by Nolan and the rest of the, like, splash AoE damage, that's a bad thing. Now you can't even ult properly <laughs> with the yeah. Barats. Whew. Scary, scary stuff that we're seeing from Fire Flux Esports. They're so decisive. They got the Lord just like that, even under the threat of Burnix Flash. They knew that they have immense amount of gold over Burnix Flash, and that's why they had the green light to actually go for that. And because Alien's ultimate is very low cooldown, look at him just destroy Burnix Flash, tick them down. Now manning the front lines. Holy defense activated up top while into the mid lane. They took the turret already. Oof. And this is a Lord. Going under third turret, working on last insanity. insanity proc, just like last time, just to zone out the enemy is absolutely the right thing to do in order to have more pressure on the objective. Bottom lane already fallen, which means Mega Minions going to go for the bot lane. Top lane being pressured as well, but not that much as a bot lane. And uh, seems like Fireflux is gonna retreat and enjoy just enemy buffs here. Yeah be uh, satisfied with that. Gonna be taking the inhibitor down the bottom lane. So this is such a massive lead already that Fireflux has. Gonna be uh, looking at the items for now. 9.9k compared to 5k. That's the jungler difference mm -hmm. is a sum total of two items. Oh. That's how <laughs> yeah, massive how do the you lead tank is. that? <sighs> Seems impossible. You're gonna have yeah. to wait for for uh, no what, 18 wind. minutes. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. No wind of nature on Claude as well and uh, might be oh, yeah. bursted down to say the least by just one touch of Nolan and Bruno. Yeah. High potential for that to happen. They're just waiting for now. They're, they have nothing else to do. They're recalling <laughs> when they're not seen, by the way. I so mean, they, they the have. Can see uh, that. They have things to do. It means they are oh. already. They already thinks they won the game, and they should uh, claim the top jungle here. Do not let enemy go out and farm even something. But they decided to like go back, and but I, I don't think they're gonna be punished for that. But still, yeah, there, there's pushing, always man. stuff to do on the on the land of dawn. Yeah. That's right. And that stuff might be the purple buff that look at that if you're looking at Fireflux Esports, that might be their target. You're seeing them set up this bush. And then Rindo just can't even look at that purple buff for now. Oh, he's gonna step in. This is crucial. But then Fireflux says, okay, we don't need that purple buff anymore. Let's just go for the Lord. Look at how quickly they're taking it as well. Yeah, yeah. So Nolan fast. is just spamming every every damn every bit of damage he has. Nolan, I mean, Lord gonna spawn in twenty seconds. That's Nolan probably gonna farm the jungle here and prepare uh, themselves for final attack here. Going for double minion, then go for purple and probably on the top lane where Fireflux already waiting here. Yeah. Slowly, a slow, steady push from Fireflux. Scary. It's very, very scary. Up top, they're pushing the top, the the lane, bottom lane. There is the Lord that was you know, on his lonesome. Good so-called teamwork. And Astro side, there's a lot of displacement from Burning Splash. Fat minion of waves up top, as well as the bottom. And this is going to be a crucial push. Brindo doesn't have the proper amount of stacks for now. They're going to take out the Vexana ultimate like a boss as easily as that. And they are able to push the turret up top. Yeah, and the meanwhile, on the bot lane, Lord is already on the base, being farmed by the Claude here, and the all of minions are farmed. Mid lane minions coming into mid lane, and Bruno already started working. Baraz here trying to use his second skill on the Bruno, but not gonna happen. All inhibitor turrets fallen. Oh. I'm offended, plus flicker initiation, plus last Ooh. insanity on the... Uh, 
Fovius here, Fovius dies already, not even able to use his own ultimate. Minion spawned and being farmed, it's, oh, wow. it's a crystal game, gonna be three hit on oh, Vixana by Bruno, already already fallen, and the Ballista low HP is still available for Firefox to push the crystal, and the That's... four people dead, and it's gonna be the game number two. That is Fireflux Esports with two back-to-back -back dominating games to sweep Burn X Flash in a snap, in a flash. They're all gone and Fireflux are just... They just came out to play War Barbie. They just showed us how dominant they can be in the Land of Dawn. Yeah, they truly are. They deserve this victory uh, because they just have showed the class here and uh, they just better players in this game. I mean, this best of three. Yeah. Game one was uh, definitely uh, also a draft issue, an, an early game issue for the side of um, of Burnix Flash. But this mm -hmm. game number two, it was quite tricky because it's definitely winnable on their side. But it just that it's just that a, a lot of disasters happen.